Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Bon Bosher, and today I want to show you guys how to make a Steezy 303 acid sound using Thor's synthesizer in Reason. Uh, the track that you just heard was something I just made for the tutorial real quick, but uh, I want to show you guys how to make this sound from scratch. So let's get started. Uh, let's uh, create a new project, Control N or File New. Uh, I got one open here. And for time's sake, I did just copy the notes from the previous project over to here uh, just to get started real quick. But um, let's head to our rack and uh, right click in your rack, create your first combinator, and uh, just right here, bam. And in your combinator, create your first instance of Thor. Make sure to right click on the Thor and either reset the device or initialize patch depending on what version of reason you're using to make sure that uh, you basically just get the most default settings um, so first and foremost I want to go to the keyboard mode and make it legato so that way only one note can be played at a time and there won't be any polyphony um, I'm just gonna set it to one because I'm OCD and then um, with the first analog oscillator uh, keep it the octave at four and keep it a saw wave and um, what's going to happen is we're going to create a second oscillator, another analog oscillator, but we're going to set it to a square wave. We're going to set the square wave's pulse width to about 60. And then what we're going to do is we're going to activate the oscillator 2 sync to oscillator 1. What this does is it creates a slave to the first oscillator. So the first oscillator is a master oscillator and it will reset the waveform of the second oscillator. So the second oscillator will affect its timbral characteristics, uh, you know, how it sounds, but it won't affect its pitch. So if we listen to it now, it's pretty basic. Um, you make sure to activate the second oscillator into the um, first filter to get it going. And um, so if we listen to it now, it's pretty loud. Uh, but we'll, we'll edit that here in a bit. So um, make sure to keep the octave at four uh, for the square wave as well and that way it'll stay nice and full. If we go to the fil uh, filter 1 frequency, let's set the filter 1 frequency to about 175 hertz, the resonance to about 92. That way it'll give a nice peak at the filter frequency and it'll uh, uh, make the lower mid section louder and it'll sound really cool. Now what we need to do is head to the filter envelope amount area and set this to 92. And again, this isn't necessarily the exact right way to do it or the wrong way. It's just the way I like to do it to get started. Um, on the velocity section of the first filter, we want to set this to 114. That way we can edit the velocities of the notes and it will affect the filter in different ways and it'll give it a little more flavor. Next thing we'd like to do is head to the filter envelope section here. Set the attack to 11.4 milliseconds. Set the decay to about 552 milliseconds. And if you want to hone in on specific numbers, hold shift and click and drag and uh, you'll have a little more control. On the sustain section here, make sure it goes to 42.4 decibels, negative 42.4. On the release, make it 3.2 milliseconds. Now, if we go to the 
amp envelope section will set the attack to 25.1 milliseconds that way it won't click when we activate each note um, the algorithm in the amp envelope in Thor is very very quick we'll set the decay and the sustain all the way up so it doesn't lose any sort of uh, pitch characteristics when it's being played or any sort of velo or I shouldn't say velocity but volume set the amp envelope release to about three 0.2 milliseconds so it doesn't bleed out or anything. Now if we take a listen to it, let's see what we got. So as you can hear, it sounds like the classic 303 acid sound that you'll hear in a lot of old school house tracks and you know even its own genre, acid. Um, so this is a very quick and easy way to get started with that type of sound. Um, it just involves a low pass filter with some high resonance and messing with the velocity of the notes as well as the filter envelope. Um, other than that, um, if you wanted to make it um, a little more flavorful if you wanted to make it yours try adding a uh, screen 4 distortion unit and uh, just messing with the settings for example let's go to digital and let's set the resolution to 100 and the rate to about 74 turn the damage to about 50 and again these are all just random numbers I will not know what's going on until I hear it but let's take a listen So as you can hear, if you just customize it with a, a distortion unit of some sort, you can really start making really cool sounds. Um, so that's it. Um, just a quick way to make a 303 acid sound, and uh, I hope this helps you out, guys. Um, I am going to save this patch as ABB 303 acid tutorial. And um, I will make it available to you guys uh, in the link section in uh, below. So um, we're all students in this, so please leave any sort of feedback and uh, tell me what uh, I can improve or tell me what uh, you did with the sound. And uh, I hope this helps, guys. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next time.